Hello, hello. So today we're going to be talking about 10 habits. These are the habits that really changed my life and I hope that they will change your life as well. Now 10 habits will make a longer video and hence I decided to do it in part of you know two videos. I'm going to do five habits in this video and five in the next video. Uh, now when we talk about health, it's a package of physical health, emotional health and uh, mental health. So these habits would, uh, you know, talk about all the habits uh, where there will be physical health involved, emotional health involved and mental health as well. Now the idea is not to really pressurize yourself or, uh, you know, stress yourself out because these habits cannot be built overnight. It's a gradual process. So for some reason, if you're not able to do it on daily basis, it's all right. Once it becomes a part of you, it'll just happen automatically. So start gradual, target to do it at least about five times a week, uh, you know, each of these habits and, and you would definitely see a change. So before we, uh, you know, delay any further, let's just get into the habit straight away. So the first and foremost is drink water as first thing in the morning. Now what happens is, you know, most of us avoid drinking water post dinner because we may have to use washroom a lot of times and, and hence we try and avoid it. And then of course, uh, you know, for about good eight to nine hours, there is no water going into the body. Uh, which also means that when you wake up in the morning, you're slightly dehydrated and which is why the energy levels also are low. So a glass of water can really help you, uh, you know, boost up your energy levels, can, can wash your system internally, how you brush your teeth. Um, so one glass of water, it can be room temperature, it can be warm if you like, it can be plain water, it can be, um, you know, with lemon in it, whichever way you like it. But the idea is to have a glass of water and see your energy levels going up. Number two is meditate. Yes, doesn't sound very interesting, but once you start doing it, there is no looking back. And we're not saying sit down for an hour, but meditate for about five to ten minutes. Now there's a science that's backing it up totally that you know once you sit down and meditate um, it reduces your anxiety, it reduces your pain, um, it gives you mental clarity, um, it reduces the stress and give, uh, you know helps you improve your immune uh, function. So also um, you know helps you open your mind. Now uh, initially it could be difficult and hence I always advise to begin with guided meditation. Uh, you know we have multiple uh, YouTube videos uh, which help you to do guided meditation. So about five to ten minutes every day in the morning which uh, you know which will help you stay calm throughout the day, keep your mind open um, and have a brilliant day. So make sure that you meditate for five to ten minutes uh, it could take you about 15 to 16 sessions before you actually get uh, kind of used to it and look forward to it. So hang in there for those 15, 16 sessions and do it every day. Now, point number three is brisk walk outdoors. Uh, this is one of my personal favorite as well. So now when you go outdoors for a brisk walk, um, it gives you an energy boost, it gives you oxygen, um, you know, it. Uh, so you get exposed to greenery and uh, exposure to greenery is extremely, extremely good for your health. And not only that, you get exposure to sunlight. As all of us know, uh, you know, about 90% of the population is vitamin deficient. So exposure to sunlight is something that really helps. Um, and just use that as a as a form of exercise check your heart rate if your heart rate is, is is good enough it'll work as a very good form of cardio so about half an hour of brisk walk outdoors um, can be a mood enhancer can be uh, you know can be a part of good exercise um, can help you improve your lung functionality because of the fresh oxygen inhalation um, can boost up your vitamin d levels so you know just one activity gives you so many benefits now um, number four is uh, do exercise every single day uh, so you've obviously we've talked about the the brisk walk 
Now, if you add it up with about 15 to 20 minutes of exercise, uh, you know, you're, you're absolutely uh, good in terms of your physical health. Now, if you look at the look at the recommendation of World Health Organization, they also say about 150 minutes of moderate exercise per week or 75 minutes of vigorous exercise per week. Um, so let's say if you you know if you're going outdoors for a brisk walk um, and not everybody would like to uh, do weights or gymming so then there's yoga there's resistance training you could do exercise with your body weight but you have to make sure that there is some kind of strength training it could be some form of yoga it could be free weights it could be body weight now when you do that um, let's look at how it really helps when we progress in age uh, you know our muscle mass and our bone density begins to uh, gradually come down but when you start strength training that's the only way you can really work on improving your muscle mass and enhancing your bone density so make sure that there is some kind of uh, strength training at least about three times a week for 20 minutes and then you can you know always do a uh, do a brisk walk outdoor um, if the uh, you know if the climate if the temperature supports you else do something in the form of cardio indoor or in your corridor and make sure that you stay active now number five eat something green on daily basis now why so much of emphasis on greens these greens are very very nutritious they're nutritionally dense food items yeah and they are a, they're a powerhouse of vitamins and minerals so a different green on uh, each day is going to make sure that you get your um, you know you get your iron you get your vitamins minerals you get your fiber so you could either have them like a you know like a saag or a curry or you could just have them in the form of a smoothie maybe just take a green uh, leafy vegetable along with a tomato and an apple or uh, a carrot or a beetroot and just make a smoothie of that but make sure that there is about one serving of green uh, leafy vegetable or greens uh, overall going into your system now these were the top five habits we're going to talk about the other uh, five habits in the next video so stay tuned and we will come back again. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye.